boom, it's back. Repetition is the mother of skills. Repeat, repeat, repeat. You know, that's how you get better. That's how you get the. You gotta train yourself to greatness. Like I said, it's, it's very simple. Eh? Very simple. I got something here. Oh, the the greatest leverage you can create for yourself is the pain that comes from inside, not outside. Knowing that you have failed to live up to your own standards for your life is the ultimate pain. Is the ultimate pain. You know, the ultimate pain is the the mental suicide. <laughs> because if you're not living up to your expectation, up to your dreams, up to your uh, greatness, it's mental suicide. No. He who asks questions cannot avoid the answers. If you ask questions, but if you don't question things, no answers will come. Nothing will uh, ever come out of this. Some men see things that they are and say, why? I dream of things that never were and say, why not? Why not? The important thing is not to stop questioning curiosity as its own reason for existing. One cannot help but be in awe when he, when he contemplates the mysteries of eternity, of life, of the marvelous structure of reality. It is enough if one tries merely to comprehend a little of his mystery every day. Just understanding a little bit of the mystery every day, every day. It's a big task, you know, but if you assume that everything is defined for you in the world, then you, you come into this world and, uh, like, a rock is a rock, a tree is a tree, a bird is a bird, and water is water. Nothing is really uh, much uh, of mysteries here. But if you look at water uh, uh, with no name, no labels, and something that flows, and that, you know, it's wonderful, the water... Like teacher D said, you can either you can you can put your hand in it and it's gonna be very very uh, very soft, and you can put your you can break your finger by slapping your hand on it. So if you don't, if you cannot find a Mr. Reason life, but th this is what happened with us, you know. Uh, also, to re, uh, redo the blueprint of your uh, of your mind involves finding back the mysteries again. To me, it's that. You know, if I cannot find mystery in life, what there, what there is? Question are the laser of human consciousness. They concentrate our focus and determine what we feel and do. And you know, when I say release attachment to words, it's to also to, uh, yeah, release attachment to words in a sense that uh, you are aware. Your awareness of the words you are using expand and you are aware of what you, you know, it's not, not to use the word and start freaking out with that. It's being aware. Just work on your awareness, grow your awareness, expand your awareness. Expand your awareness on every level. You know, this is that's why I like to do my Truman show with Santos. I have so many questions for him. So many questions. We could do seven shows a seven shows a week. Uh, we would still not be covering uh, maybe you can up the pace to two a week, but I think one a week is good. He's very busy with his other stuff too. Now he just uh, prepared a sorry, just prepared a big presentation. So, uh, but I love to hang out with Santos. It's, uh, when you give your brain mixed message, you're going to get mixed results. Clarity is power. Clarity is power. At one point, you've got to stop evaluating and start doing. You know, stop wishing and start doing. I wish, I wish. A lot of people wish to do things. You know, I I was wishing for a while to come on YouTube and express myself. I was wishing for a while until I decided to 
today it seems today to me it uh, it's something very nor very uh, comes at ease I do my video with very much ease and with no pressure I don't come here to uh, pressure myself and to, uh, no no I come here first of all to enjoy nature to be inspired by what surrounds me I love being in nature nature is uh, it's everything it's your best teacher powerful agent is the right word whenever we whenever we own upon one whenever we home upon one come upon one come upon one of those intensely right words the resulting effect is physical as well as spiritual and electricity prompt this is true because it's all in the word you know you can say to someone how was your day and you can say fine like you can see, oh, super wonderfully amazing. I had such a great day, you know. It was ah, the ball, man. You know, you can uh, you get much more electricity from that. That's why when someone asked me, uh, uh, "How's it going? <laughs> How are you? Better than good and better than most?" Because that's true. <laughs> I'm I'm doing better than good. You know, I'm alive. What else can I ask more? I have the best gift, the best, all the possibility, all the availability, uh, everything is available to me. I'm alive. I can experience anything. Change is usually not a question of capability. No, because we can all change. It's not a matter, a, a matter of capability, a question of capability. It's almost always a question of motivation. The only way we're going to make a change now is if we create a sense of urgency that's so intense that we're compelled to follow through. This is what happened to me, you know, I was I was creating a sense of urgency with that I had to uh, first of all I you No, know, you got to get mad at me at the beginning. I got very very uh, I got mad at the beginning for sure because this is what you have to do. If you don't get mad, you're not uh, paying attention. And then I said, okay, it's time to... Uh, the urgency is there and it's time to, to take action. Yeah. It is not to have a good mind. The main thing is to use it well. Ah, boom. Ah. It is not to have a good mind. The good thing is to use it well. It's like knowledge, it's only potential power. What do you do with knowledge? You, know? you can do a lot with knowledge. You know? Now you have the knowledge with everything I gave you here on this channel. You have the knowledge to, to really transform your life, to change your life, to create magnificent, uh, bring your magnificent self. This, this is what this channel is built for, to, for greatness to come out. You know? The beginning of a habit is an invisible thread. But every time we repeat the act, we strengthen the strength. Add to it another filament until it becomes a great cable and binds us irrevocably. Cut and act. Exactly. Exactly. The habit, it's like, uh, you know, every time we repeat the act, we strengthen the strength. And add to it another filament until it becomes a great cable. And it becomes strong enough and unbreakable. And then your thought and act are aligned. That's it. That's what I said. The habit is very, uh, it's very important to develop good habits. To, uh, you know, to start implementing better habits in your life. That's what I did in mine. At one point you have enough of the nonsense. Yeah.
Okay, I'll be back. Peace out.